Next, we have Kalsatsu. So, hello, Kalsatsu. And you say, have eight titles on hold already, one of which includes Brighter Summer Day. So, A Brighter Summer Day, Edward Yang's work. This is one of the, one of the, this is one of the reasons in my, in my heart why Criterion is Criterion. Uh, releasing a work like A Brighter Summer Day in that fashion. Uh, and so I'm very, very thrilled that you mentioned A Brighter Summer Day. You know, I I might have mentioned this in some video some time back, but whenever I get a comment from a viewer uh, on a video uh, and that viewer talks about Edward Yang or A Brighter Summer Day, I I immediately... Uh, have this big smile on my face. Those comments, uh, many comments uh, put a smile on my face, but in particular, a comment about Edward Yang or, uh, and or a comment about A Brighter Summer Day. In particular, comments like these put a smile on my face. So, Kyle Satsu, thank you very much for uh, providing a comment that mentions A Brighter Summer Day because thinking about that work, hearing you mention that work, is uh, something or these are some these are things that uh, uh, remind me just how utterly fantastic a brighter summer day is so this is well one of the uh, one of my absolute favorites in the collection a brighter summer day so it's definitely up it's definitely there in my if i you know if I had to make a recent list of my absolute favorites, I've, I've done a list before on this channel many years back, but I haven't updated it. But even if I had to update that list, you know, A Brighter Summer Day would be in, I would say, yeah, it would definitely be in the top five, maybe in the top three. What would be the other two, perhaps? Uh, very interesting. Um, uh, Brighter Summer Day, uh, Mishima, Life in Four Chapters. That is another great one. I love that release. So that, yeah, A Brighter Summer Day and Mishima, A Life in Four Chapters. Oh my goodness, those are, those are very, very, uh, very excellent releases. What else would be on that list, by the way? I wonder, I really should have tried to update that top 10 favorite Criterion titles of all time list. I don't know, but if I had to uh, brainstorm right now, a Brighter Summer Day, Mishima, Life in Four Chapters, maybe. Uh, I could mention, gosh, uh, uh, I, yeah, I could mention t uh, Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me. Uh, I can't wait to talk about that one. Can't wait to talk about Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh, I can't wait. But And, um, oh, gosh, what else would be there? What else would be there? Uh, so many. Uh, I'd have to mention uh, Fishing with John, the great DVD, Fishing with John. Wow, yeah. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, Fishing with John. But anyway, I'm sorry, I'm getting way ahead of myself. Uh, returning back to Edward Yang and A Brighter Summer Day. Uh, thank you very much, Kyle Satsu, for this. And I very much hope that you enjoy that and also you enjoy the other eight titles. I wonder what those other eight titles are. Or you say eight titles, one of which is Brighter Summer Day. So so uh, Brighter Summer Day plus seven more, I'm assuming. So I wonder what those seven other titles are. If you ever have the opportunity, I'd love to hear about those as well. Kalasatsu, thank you so much. And warmest, warmest regards. I very much hope that this message finds you well. Next, we have Philip Wallace. Hello, Philip Wallace. You say, Flash Gordon, The Red Shoes, Halloween, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, Silence of the Lambs, and The Stand. Can't wait. These are some really good deals. I just started collecting again, and this will be my second order getting back at it. So thank you very much for this. This is wonderful. So I note here that we have a number of titles that are criterion and a number of titles that are non-criterion, I'm assuming. So thank you very much. You mentioned, for example, uh, the film Halloween. So I'm not sure what what uh, uh, what the, uh, the film, the specific film is Halloween, because as we know, there are a number of films with the title Halloween. 
but if this is referring to the original John Carpenter directed film Halloween, uh, uh, it reminds me, of course, that uh, Halloween, John Carpenter directed film Halloween, was once uh, in the Criterion Collection. In fact, it was, for those of you who know the Criterion Laserdisc history, Halloween was, John Carpenter's Halloween was a Criterion Laserdisc. In fact, there were uh, more than one release of uh, John Carpenter's Halloween in the Criterion Laserdisc collection. So uh, it's, uh, it's considered, I think, one of the standout releases of the Criterion Collection Laserdisc era in an era of so many standout releases, but Halloween is, is up there. And, and uh, uh, it is also, I think, among Criterion Laserdisc fans as well as Halloween fans, John Carpenter fans, physical media fans. It is considered a type of collector's item even now. So, uh, yes, it reminds me of the of Halloween once being in the Criterion Collection. And who knows, maybe, maybe uh, one can keep one's fingers crossed. Maybe Halloween might return. Maybe the chances are, are very slim next to nil. But uh, it is, uh, it is uh, always... Uh, something to hope for, I suppose. But in any event, Halloween, if that's the version that you're speaking of Philip Wallace, and uh, yes, yes, well done. So anyway, thank you very much, Philip Wallace, for this. And you say that you just started collecting again. So I hope you enjoy your cinema journey and your collecting journey wherever it takes you. And I hope it takes you to so many wonderful, fun, and engaging places indeed. So thank you and warmest regards. Next, Matt Attack. Hello, Matt Attack. It's always nice to hear from you. And you say, have you been back to the States in recent years to take advantage of the Barnes & Noble sale? It's too bad they don't ship internationally. So, yes, so I, I might have mentioned it in a previous video, but I haven't been back, I haven't been traveling uh, internationally to the United States or anywhere else outside of Japan. I haven't traveled anywhere since the uh, the pandemic. So, uh, prior to the pandemic, I had, for instance, my family would take trips to New York City or to, then to uh, uh, Hawaii. And so whenever we visited those places, I would always go try to make time for the Barnes & Noble in that particular place during the family vacation. So, but again, uh, because of the pandemic, I haven't been able to travel uh, to the United States. So one day when, uh, it, uh, if and when it becomes possible, I'd like to be able to do that. But uh, until that day comes, I, I can, uh, of course, uh, very, very happily live vicariously through the experiences of, of our dear friends here who are very generous and gracious in letting me know what they get during this July sale. So Matt Attack, thank you so much. And warmest, warmest regards. I very much hope that you're well. And next is Henry and Trooper Film Productions. So hello, it's nice to see you as always. And you say, greetings Daisuke. I'm very excited for the sale. My only wish would be that Daddy Long Legs could come out a little earlier. Yes, cheers. Yes, that's right. I too am looking forward to that one as well. I'm not sure of the status of pre-orders. Again, I don't uh, I, I can't participate in the Barnes & Noble sale directly, so I don't know how far ahead one can uh, 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 make a pre-order and still take advantage of the 50% off discount. But uh, if that is still possible, either now or sometime later in the month, I very much hope that you're able to, to secure that, as well as other titles, my dear friends. Uh, well done, and warmest, warmest. Always, I very much hope that all is well. I dropped something here. I apologize. So it's a little piece of uh, metal here. But, but anyway, thank you. Uh, not thank you, but I apologize. Excuse me, Henry and Trooper Film Productions. Uh, but once again, warmest, warmest regards. And I very much hope that you are well. I wonder what that is, by the way. Oh, it's a little clip. Here we go. Okay. All right. So let me stop here. And I, again, will try to continue with these uh, video responses to your wonderful comments here. And I know there are some other videos that people have commented on regarding the Barnes and, Noble, Barnes and Noble sales. I'll try to keep this ongoing throughout the month. Uh, if I miss your comment, uh, please, I, uh, I very much ap apologize. I'm very sorry. I don't mean to skip over anyone's comment intentionally. So 
Uh, but I will do my best to keep up and catch as many of the comments as possible. But in the meantime, yes, please continue to enjoy and uh, please continue to let me know what it is that uh, you get or you plan to get. I'm, as I say, I'm always, always, always thrilled whenever this time of year comes. I'm always thrilled to hear. Uh, I might be on uh, maybe in a, a different part of the world from you, uh, but still, uh, I think I feel the the closeness of the connection uh, between uh, you in one part of the world and me in the other part of the world because uh, the closeness of the connection is due to the fact that I feel your enthusiasm for cinema uh, very much so. Of course, during this time, Criterion is perhaps on the forefront of a lot of people's minds in terms of uh, purchases and sales, etc. But of course, we're not just talking about Criterion, we're talking about uh, cinema writ large and many labels, many releases, uh, recent releases, the theatrical releases or physical media, streaming, etc. So whatever the case may be, my dear friends, uh, for you and your own cinema journey, uh, thank you very much for always continuing to show me your wonderful, great enthusiasm uh, that is uh, ever ever shining and ever alive because it is that ever shining and ever alive enthusiasm for cinema that you all have that makes me feel very very much uh, in close proximity uh, with you even though there might be a large expanse of uh, geographic geographical distance uh, between us so thank you very much for that my dear dear friends and I look forward to seeing you again very very soon cheers